to learn say goodbye to expensive professional framing and hello to saving money while showcasing your art beautifully. The problem, the cost of professional framing can really add up, and especially if you have multiple pieces of art to frame. But fear not, we're here to show you how easy and cost effective it can be to frame your own art at home. Get ready to unleash your inner artist and give your space a personal touch. Now here's a really big one. And the size of the opening is 11 by 14, which is perfect for this girl. We are going to open this puppy up. See, it's nice and big. I always like to take these tacky labels off. My pet peeve. We'll open it all up. Grab the hooks. Take this off, take out the insides. Now you can already see little bits here. It's the bane of my existence. Oh, look at all the mats here. So this is cool. It's got a big mat right there. And it's, it's a spare because they stack them. So that makes it nice because you score a mat. All right, so let's take a look here. So this one will fit. And I'm thinking maybe do the double mat. I kind of like that look. So we'll use the mats that it came with instead of mine. And so you can see I have tape here and this is mounting tape. And what I'm gonna do is mount it to the back of my, my boards. This piece is a little bit larger. So we can do this. All right, first I'll check it, looks good. So now I will finish putting tape her down. You only need to put tape on the top and the bottom but it's okay if you don't plan on opening it up again. You can put some on the sides too. I sometimes do that because sometimes, it, depending on the humidity where you live, the pieces will buckle inside the frame, which is a pain. And then you have to open them up and do this all over again. But it's not a big deal. It rarely happens. When I lived in Hawaii, I had bugs that got inside my frames, which was kind of annoying. All right, let's take a look how that will look like. Looks pretty good, guys. Look at that. She's pretty cool. Now, this is an original watercolor sketch. Right. I am going to go over the glass with a bit of paper towel that's damp. See all the dirt comes off it? And this thing was completely sealed up. So, yeah, look at that. Wow. All right, give her a little spritz and Hopefully this will pick up anything that's stray. Wipe. If you if you look at the mat, there's a bevel right here. You can see the bevel. The angled one it goes on first. That's the and put your piece on top. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this foamy stuff here. And uh, back her. Where's her head at? This is the top. You want to make sure the hooks that it's going to be hung by, turn them around, put those at the top, and then. Now this particular frame has a little ledge all the way around, so these things just pop right in there. You turn them, and it hooks into that little ledge, and it holds everything in nicely. All right, let's take a look, pray that there's no bits. Oh, there's no bits, how cool is that? Look at her. What do you think? I think I'll save the big frames for a bigger piece. Take that apart on top and pull it out. Now I think the smaller ones had more bits than the big one. All right. So these frames are pretty cool because you can either hang them vertically so it's portrait style or horizontal which is called landscape style. I'm going to take this off again. Get a little paper. Pull this apart. Let's see if this would work. It just cuts too much off, I think. We're going to have to figure this out. This is my mat. So there's my mat. And it fits in there. So now I'm going to have to tape this down to the mat. You need a paper towel, a damp paper towel with a little bit of Windex on it. Go in and thoroughly clean out this inside. And this particular frame here, they were on sale at Fred Meyers. 
I don't get anything for telling you where to get these, but uh, you can probably get them from Michaels as well and look for the bargains. But make sure they're glass. Don't get the ones that are plastic. They're awful. Just, just don't cut it. You want to have real glass. A little blow. Make sure nothing's loose on there. Look for where the head is. Put it in. Press down. Put in the filler board. Maybe I'll use my filler board. This one's called Peace. And we're going to close it up and pray there's no bits. Oh, that's not too bad. So let's close it up. You can never get rid of all the bits. It just seems to be a thing with framing. There we go. We're over. And there she is. She's beautiful. And I signed it. And we'll clean the glass on the front now. Looks nice. No bits. Got lucky on this one. There. I am now going to show you how to put your wire on the back of the frames that are pre-made. And here's the type of wire I like to use. I think this one here holds up to 10 pounds. Uh, I did accidentally buy some stuff that's heavier and it's for 30 pounds and neither of these weigh that much. So this thin wire is gonna be just fine. I bought this, I think from Amazon and quite often I buy them from Dick Blick. But this one is nice. It's thin, it's stainless steel cable, and it's much easier to work than the heavier wire. Anyways, you can see how heavy this is. This is like some serious stuff. So you could hang like a 50 pound piece of art with this one, but we don't want that. So here's how we go about doing this. Measure it, how much you need, and then some. So get a little extra. And then what you want to do in order to cut it, don't use your favorite jewelry tools like that. It kind of ruins the edges. They're not made for stainless steel. I have special stainless steel cutters. because so That's what this wire is. So you just go in and you cut it. It's great. Uh, you could probably steal a pair of um, men's cutters would do the same job because that's what they're made from. But the jewelry tools, it really wrecks them. So try to stay away from that unless you're desperate. All right, so you put it up through here, the little, and then you just wrap it just around, around, around. And you can actually wrap it and double it back if you want. Oh. Sometimes if the piece is a little heavier like the other one here, I'm gonna put it doubled. And I will show you how I do that. So just get it in there, run it back, and the wire pretty much stays where you put it. But just wrap it real good, the whole thing. There we go. So we got that side. Now, the thing that frustrates me about these store-bought is they have these too high and I prefer them down here and so on the larger one I'm going to have to do something different because when you hang it your wire will show so I am going to do this really tight so see that's when you hang it it won't show so take it we're going to do the same thing wrap it turn it so you can see better so just wrap it around this is very light painting. It probably weighs about three pounds. I'm just gonna wrap it so it goes down and wrap it right underneath the hook. Have some extra security. And this side was longer than the other, so I will cut it off with my handy dandy cutters. And there we go. All done. And when I hang it up, the nail is not gonna show. See that uh, right there you can see that's where the nail goes it's pretty high up okay let's tackle this one so see they've got them way up high and if I put a um, wire on here it will show so what I want to do here these are actually wood frames and um, we're going to drill a little hole down further so take it and mark it so here's the edge of our frame right here so mark it down about 
you know, you figure a third maybe. So put it there and then measure and do the same on the other side. All right, and it, I have these little gizmos. Uh, you can buy these kits from Dick Blick and they're really great. So you, what you want to do is line it up there and see it sits like this. Put it so that it has like a little bumpy thing. So your, your hole has got to go right here actually. Well, I don't know here. Put it either or. I think I'm gonna do it. Hmm. It'll lay flat against the wall if you put it so that it's like that, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this drilled out because I'm not sure of the quality of the wood. But let's give it a try. And since I don't have drill bits, this is how I do it. I'm going to just start the hole. And come back out again. There we go. Got it started. And I'm going to put my little gizmo on here. I think I'm going to lay it this way. And then you just gently... Oops. But it's got to get done. Be careful it doesn't go all the way through. Let's see. Yeah, it should be okay. So I'm just going to put it in real slow. Oh. All right, it's got some give there. I'm going to leave that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Start a pilot hole right about there. a whole lot easier. Okay, put your drill back to forward. Oh gosh. Okay, so we're going to put this here. Left a little bit of give there. It's not screwed in tight. Don't screw it in tight because you could split the wood. So just leave it a little bit loose. Okay, now we're going to grab our wire and I'm going to do a double on this one. And I'll show you how I do that. Let's get plenty of wire. Okay, so if you do double, you don't have to wrap it at one side. So what I do is just put it through, loop it through, and then run the cables through here, slide it down like so. Run it over to the other side. All right, I'm going to keep it in the camera here. Okay, we're still not in the camera. Shoot. All right. Are we there? Yes. Okay. Run it up. Now, you see here? There's. You'll have a little bit of broom. So leave a little bit of, of slack there. Not a whole lot because you don't want it to come up to be over top of your top of your piece. And then we're going to wrap it. So wrap it right around and then you can bring it back down through. I don't le like leaving the wire uh, up here when you're wrapping. Do a good job and wrap it back because if somebody, um, my cutters, if somebody goes to do touch the back and this is one of my pet peeves. If you look at a lot of 
home done framing they have all these wires sticking out and you could hurt yourself on them and quite often they're rusted which is kind of a bummer so keep it down here finish finish it back where your connection is and then you can cut it off like so and it's nice and clean see that so when you hang it up it's gonna have this it'll be that much below the nail the nail will be here and so there we are just seen the frame two pieces in a very short time and they look pretty good well actually I framed three pieces there you go there's two and three so these are all originals and they're going into a gallery in Lincoln City um, and I also have some in my own gallery in Seal Rock so if you're curious and you're in the area stop in it's called Dancing Coyote Gallery and Art Studio thanks for watching have a great day and go and do some framing <laughs>